right. Now, let's take a look at the equipment for the most widely used ADCP measurement method, the moving boat method. The instrument we'll be showing you today is the M9 from Sontek. The M9 uses multiple acoustic frequencies from 1000 to 3000 kilohertz and features nine transducers, hence the name M9. To move the ADCP on the water's surface, you need a platform. Generally, platforms are made in the shape of a trimaran. A trimaran supports the ADCP to cross the river stably with a transducer depth maintained uniformly. Next, you have the laptop computer. The measurement software provided by the manufacturer should be installed on the computer. The M9 uses software called River Surveyor. We will be talking about this in more detail when explaining equipment configuration. Recently, many people adopt wireless connections using a radio modem and Bluetooth. When you use the Bluetooth serial adapter, you can easily connect the device wirelessly. We will talk about how to do that in the equipment settings. ADCP utilizes electricity between 10.5 to 18 volts DC. That is why a 12 DC storage battery is often used and high capacity batteries are recommended. In a moving bed condition where stream bed materials travel, GNSS or GPS is used to track the ADCP's position because the accuracy of bottom tracking may decline. If you don't have such instruments, you can correct the data by adopting moving bed tests or the stationary method. The boat for transect measurement should be big enough for three or more people that are assigned tasks of driving, ADCP measuring with safety. Normally, inflatable boats are used, but in a high flow condition such as a flood, FRP boats installed with a large motor is recommended for use. It is difficult for the boat to approach the shore so you need a range finder or other distance measuring tools that can measure the distance to shore from the measurement location. You also need a water thermometer and salinity meter. Although the ADCP has a built-in thermometer, it is best to check water temperature and salinity depending on the conditions. How was it? Was it helpful? Today we took a look at how to perform the moving boat method using the ADCP. Thank you for watching.